Understanding non-small cell lung cancer treatment when you have an EGFR mutation. Your genes contain instructions that tell your body how to work. Mutations or changes in genes can change the way your body works. Certain gene mutations can lead cancer to form or drive it to grow and spread. These driver mutations are common in non-small cell lung cancer, or NSCLC. EGFR mutations are one kind of driver mutation. Biomarker testing finds driver mutations and other changes that can help your doctor treat cancer more effectively. It is done by testing a sample of tumor tissue or blood. EGFR proteins help cells grow and multiply. Mutations in EGFR can cause these proteins to become too active. The signal that tells cells to grow is constantly turned on instead of only turned on when needed. The result is uncontrolled cell growth that leads to cancer. EGFR mutations are fairly common in non-small cell lung cancer, occurring in 15 to 20 percent of tumors, mostly adenocarcinomas. EGFR mutations are more common in people from East Asia, including China, Japan, and Korea. About 35% of people with this heritage and non-small cell lung cancer have them. Women and non-smokers are also more likely to have this mutation. The good news is that specific treatments can target EGFR mutations. If you have an EGFR mutation, you may be a candidate for targeted therapy and there are many treatments that target EGFR. These therapies are in the form of drugs that act on the mutation directly or turn off the EGFR switches or receptors on the cell surfaces. Both ways can stop these cells from growing and spreading as fast. Tyrosine kinase inhibitors, or TKIs, are the most frequently used targeted therapy. These drugs can help people with EGFR mutations live longer. TKIs approved for EGFR mutations include erlotinib, gefitinib, osimertinib, afatinib, and dacomitinib. More drugs are constantly being approved, so ask your doctor about any new targeted therapies. Most TKIs are approved to treat stage 4 non-small cell lung cancer when the cancer has spread outside the lungs. One TKI, osimertinib, is approved to treat non-small cell lung cancer at early stages. If you have surgery to remove lung cancer, you may receive osimertinib to decrease the chance of the cancer coming back and increase the likelihood of living longer. Researchers are also studying treatments for cancers that resist osimertinib. Other EGFR inhibitors also have side effects. These can include skin infections or an acne-like rash, diarrhea, mouth sores, and a loss of appetite. About 12% of EGFR-positive cancers have a type of EGFR mutation called an exon 20 insertion. If you have this mutation, you may take amivantamab, which is given by IV with or after chemotherapy. Amivantamab is a different type of drug called a monoclonal antibody used to treat non-small cell lung cancer with an EGFR exon 20 insertion mutation. Amivantamab can cause an allergy-like reaction when given by IV. The nursing staff will watch for this. As with all medications, call your doctor if you notice any new symptoms or think you might be having a side effect. Knowing if you have an EGFR mutation can lead to more effective treatment for non-small cell lung cancer. This can mean living longer without the cancer progressing. Cancer cells with EGFR mutations can become resistant, so it is important to repeat biomarker testing if treatment stops working at any time. A different drug can make treatment more effective again. All the current treatments for non-small cell lung cancer, including those targeting specific driver mutations, were developed in clinical trials. Joining a trial could help you now and will help other people in the future as new drugs are developed. Do not hesitate to ask your doctor about clinical trials if you have an EGFR mutation. Research is happening every day to find new lung cancer treatments and improve the outlook for people with lung cancer.